Welcome to Little Data Courses. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up the sales performance report in Google Analytics 4. Now first, you'll navigate to the Explore tab on the left-hand side, and you'll select the blank New Exploration. When you get here, you're gonna to wanna to change that name to the Sales Performance. Once you do that, you'll make sure to leave the technique the same as Freeform. You'll scroll down, and when you see Dimensions, go ahead and click on that plus sign, go to E-commerce, and select transaction ID. Go ahead and import that. Once you've imported that, go to metrics and also click the plus sign. And to make this easy, we're just gonna type it in. We're gonna type in purchase. And once you type that in, that's gonna populate and we're gonna select the purchase revenue. Then go ahead back to the search bar and we're gonna type in item. And for item, we're gonna select item quantity. Now go ahead and import both of those metrics. Once you've done that, on the left-hand side, you'll go ahead and click on the Configure tab. On this page, you'll go and click on Custom Definitions, and you'll select Custom Metrics. Go ahead and create custom metrics. For this metric, you're going to put Shipping. The scope is going to stay the event, and you're going to put Shipping as the description, and also Shipping as the event parameter. Unit of measurement will be Currency, and please check Revenue and Cost data. Go ahead and save that. Now from there, we're going to make another one, and this one's going to be for tax. Tax is going to go as the name, event is going to remain the scope. Tax is also the description and also the event parameter. The unit of measurement is also going to be currency and leave revenue and cost data checked off. Go ahead and save that. And then you're going to go ahead and navigate back to the Explore tab on the left-hand side, and you're gonna select the Sales Performance Report. We're gonna go back to editing that, and now what we're gonna do is, under the metrics, we're gonna add the plus sign, and then we're gonna scroll over to the Custom. And if you click in on Custom, you'll see the Shipping and Tax appear there. Go ahead and select both of those and import them. Now, we're gonna move the Transaction ID to the rows on the right-hand side. And for the values, we're gonna transfer over all the metrics. So go ahead and drag and drop all of them. All right, once you've dragged and dropped all of them, you'll see that a sales performance report appears on the right-hand side. That's your report. That's where you'll be able to use this. You can download this, share this, save this. Use this however you want to analyze the data. Happy exploring.